Hey good people, this is Shara Politics and Fashion here today with a video that I am very excited about because it is one of my passions y'all and that is handbags. I want to talk to you all about where to spend and where to save specifically as it relates to some of the hottest bags that are out right now. I have gone to Saint Laurent I have done the hard work so you don't have to. I have a few bags live here in color and in person that I feel like are the best buys on the market right now. And that's where I would spend and I would save on some of these other ones that I'm gonna share with y'all today. So if you are down for a little bit of handbag eye candy, I will be giving you lots of it in today's video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, girl. It's style happening over here. It's self-care happening over here. It's some social justice rants happening over here. But most importantly, girl, we are curating our closets with intention and shopping for pieces that we love. If that sounds good to you, subscribe to my channel. Follow me over on Instagram. Don't forget to comment down below your favorite handbag. Give this video a thumbs up and just keep watching. jumping into the video let me just share a bit about why I chose Saint Laurent to spotlight in today's video so I have always always loved the brand I think that the designs are at times minimal they can also be very elevated and chic it is the kind of ready to wear especially that can be so easily interchanged in your wardrobe it's so easy to create a full capsule collection from key pieces from the brand the other thing is their handbags are dynamic. I love their shoes, but it is the history and the heritage of the brand. First up, let's talk about Yves Saint Laurent, the designer, okay? He was a bit of a prodigy. He worked only at D Dior as another uh, fashion house, and he did that when he was only 19 years old, left and very soon after starting his own brand. He was the first designer to create ready-to-wear, meaning that everyone else was doing high couture, making ball gowns, these very grand pieces, and he said, no, I want to design for everyday women. It was revolutionary at the time. He was very much inspired by the street style, the punk aesthetic that was happening in Paris. And so you saw for the first time things that everyday people were, were wearing being brought to high fashion. He made it much more accessible for the folks who were, you know, the everyday consumers who loved fashion. And that, in my opinion, stays true to this day because as far as the prices are, are concerned, especially of the handbags, Saint Laurent is still very much attainable. The other thing is, is that Yves Saint Laurent was a major, major activist. He, for example, demanded that models of color like Naomi Campbell be put on the cover of magazines be featured in his fashion shows and those of other designers without his activism who knows if Naomi Campbell would have ever broke the barriers that she did in the industry also historically he's known as the first designer to have put women in men's suiting completely eradicating that whole kind of gender barrier at a time when women were supposed to be wearing dresses he said nope I'm gonna put you in this safari jacket I'm gonna put you in this suit it's like smoking blazer and these pants girl in a cute heel now go do do what it do okay so all around between the history the craftsmanship the innovation the designs to this day I think the brand is impeccable and the customer service is great as it compares to to some of the more commercial houses. For example, a Louis Vuitton or a Gucci. Saint Laurent still treats you like the elite clientele that you are when you are shopping at this price point. So just a few tips behind why I chose to spotlight Saint Laurent bags. Let's get into it. First up is the House of Balenciaga. Balenci, Balenci, Balenciaga. Y'all watch Legend here. Balenci, Balenci, Balenciaga. I, I love Balenciaga. She gives the girls what they want. A full moment, okay? The house is one of my favorites in the ballroom scene. Um, but here's the thing. It's one Balenciaga bag in particular um, that y'all, I'm sure, have seen, if you are a handbag lover, that the girls are starting to go up for it. It's a newer bag for them. It is this one right here. It is called the Hourglass Bag. Not surprising because Balenciaga also makes the Hourglass Blazer. 
here's the thing, okay? It's not a hated it moment. Like, I don't hate the hourglass bag. I just don't understand it. I don't under... The shape is not... The math isn't mathing, okay? I don't... It's this curvature underneath. It's this, like, hexagonal trapezoid shape here. And then it has a top handle. Has the B in the front. And I've only seen ones that also come with uh, crocodile embossed leather. It just seems to me that there are too many competing design factors that I'm having a hard time with. I'm having a hard time. Um, but you work. If you love it, girl, go ahead, buy it. But I have another option for you that I think is classic, it is timeless, and you're going to love just as much. And it is the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour. She is one of the brand's signature designs. This is in the nano size, so the smallest size. It comes in two other handbag sizes as well as luggage pieces. So you got a lot of variety here, okay? As you can see, also we got our faux crocodile embossing, but it's a matte finish. It's not as shiny, which I think is a bit more sophisticated. The hardware is anti-gold, which is so good, okay? If you need a little bit more space, no worries. Saint Laurent got you. The second drawer got you, girl. All you have to do is pop the closures open and boom, you have more space. The cutest part for me is the lock that you see here. The brand is so thoughtful. Cause look at this girl. It's actually a functional lock. Now what you're closing with the lock, I don't know. In the larger bags, there's actually a pouch on the inside that you can lock, okay? And then carry those keys with you. On this size, it's kind of more for a decoration, but the fact that it comes with keys is just such a cute addition, okay? I love the fact that you also get a crossbody strap. And the design of the bag means that it's not kind of sticking far out. You actually can make this work crossbody as well as handheld, okay? Feet on the bottom. It's just a gift, girl. It is a complete gift. And if you could have this instead of the hourglass bag, I'll put both prices on the screen for y'all. It just seems to me that this makes more sense because we know it's not going anywhere. It is a classic design. You get so many colors. You get so many leather types in it, okay? The faux crocodile means it's not gonna scratch easily. A great handbag and a great option instead of the Balenciaga hourglass bag. So spin here, save there. Next up is Prada. I love Prada. Me and Prada go together. Prada's having a moment over there. They are over there doing the daggone thing and I am here for it. Now one of the things that they're doing is they're coming out with some of their classic nylon pieces again and it is specifically the re-nylon bag. I'm not a big shoulder bag person but I don't hate this bag. My only issue is Prada's nylon while it may be great quality this is a pretty big investment for a non-leather bag. This bag is almost a thousand dollars and it's pretty simple and plain to the eye. I feel like if you like that one, if you like the Renylon, you are going to love the brand new Saint Laurent Hobo bag. Get into her girl. First off, she's leather. Let's just get that out the way. She's going to last, okay? Number two, depending on your height, your size, it's so good that although she's a shoulder bag, you actually get to adjust the strap here. I love the pop of gold hardware. It's always the gold for me, okay? And then, look at how it opens. The actual YSL logo is a functional piece of the bag. It comes in several colors. The shape is very similar to the re nylon bag and you can also fit a full size wallet inside of there it's just good if you were looking at a shoulder bag this brand new bag from Saint Laurent I feel like should be a contender next up is the camera bag now the camera bag everybody and their mama kind of makes one um Gucci makes one I used to have the Gucci Soho camera bag I know Valentino makes one Chanel makes one you can get this style bag at almost every single single designer out there 
it's because it's a great functional bag it's crossbody it is usually one of the more affordable price points but sometimes because it is an affordable price point i feel like brands tend to forget about it like it's kind of the throwaway bag for Saint Laurent, their, their camera bag is still an itch bag for the brand, meaning every season they are coming out with new colorways, new leather types. They're finding ways to make the bag interesting and innovative, and I love it. So it's not giving you like soccer mom vibes, you know what I'm saying? No shade, no tea. But sometimes that's how those camera bags be looking. Like, you know, you're pushing a stroller and you're driving a minivan. This camera bag in particular, girl, y'all know raffia is everywhere right now. Raffia bags are it, it, it. But have you seen a raffia bag with the leather? Have you seen a raffia bag with a crossbody strap? Have you seen a raffia bag with a tassel? These are the design elements that we're paying for. I am so into this piece. Now, it also comes in like a deep chocolate brown that I almost picked up. I just knew that I didn't have as much to style that chocolate brown one with. But I love that one as well because of this reason. It would be so great going into fall. And if you are someone who can pull off chocolate brown in your wardrobe, you've got to put that bag on your list. This is your sign that if you've been thinking about the camera bag, I say go for it. And I love it in the more interesting designs. I've seen it in patent leather. I've seen it in polka dots. This is the first time I've seen it in raffia. But the raffia for me, girl, is it. Like, I'm thinking, do I need this in my wardrobe? It's such an easy crossbody bag. And the raffia just feels so plush. And just, it feels luxurious, girl. And once again, no shade, no tea against any of these other brands because at one time I did have the Gucci Soho bag. I just feel like those bags that the other design houses make don't light a candle to the Saint Laurent camera bag. If you were in the market for this style bag, if it's something for, uh, for example, a younger sister, I know a lot of people tend to get this bag for a young people as a gift. If you were in the market for it, go for the Saint Laurent version because you're, gonna, you're going to see some super interesting and creative designs like this Raffia one. Save on those, spend on this one. Now let's talk about Chanel. Let's talk about Chanel. Uh, I wasn't going to do it because there are so many resources out there about these egregious Chanel price increases, but because we're here now, <laughs> let's just go there. Uh, as you may know, Chanel just had a mega, mega, mega price increase. And in addition to that price increase, they also told y'all that they weren't even going to sell you a classic flap, possibly show you a classic flap, unless you were already in their system. The games that they're playing right now, I'm not interested. Now, y'all know I love Hermes. So, and they've been known to play a game or two about the Beyonce, the Kelly, and the Cardi, as we call them. Um, the Birkin, the Kelly, and the Constance. Uh, but I say this, there's only one Hermes. And them games that Chanel is playing with y'all right now, I won't be able to do it. Now, here's specifically what I'm talking about. Not only is the customer service not always up to par, if at all. It's kind of a joke among the Lux community how you're treated in Chanel. It's kind of like you should be grateful to have a bag to even walk in the store. It's in such high demand, okay? But the other thing is the price points for what you get are just not always... The math, again, the math ain't mathin'. And so they have this one bag that I'm sure you all know called the Chanel 19 bag. It's a bit of like a loved bag around the luxury community. Definitely an on-trend piece. Um, I don't love it. I don't love the mixed color in the hardware. I don't love the large CC. But I've seen ones that I can appreciate. My friend Shavonda has a small one in, I think like a light blue that I'm like, that's super cute, okay? Um, Alyssa Lenore and some other people I've seen, they have it in a tweed version. Super cute. 
when I saw this Saint Laurent bag, it brought to mind the Chanel 19s. It doesn't look just like it, but it brought it to mind for a fraction of the price. And it is the small Lou Puffer in the brand new tweed version. And the great part is this bag comes in multiple sizes. If you like the tweed Chanel 19, I think you gotta give this bag at least a double take. If not, I would say you need to probably spin here and save there because those bags are so exorbitantly priced. This bag comes well under the $2,000 mark. It would be at least four or five over at Chanel in this size. So the bag, as you can see, um, has a bit of a puff to it, even though it is in this tweed. It has the antique gold hardware. Okay, I love how it's kind of an envelope shape here. But once you open it, it has a bit of a curved opening. It comes in multiple colors, girl. And then the strap on the inside has a toggle, which means that we can always take the strap out. You can replace it with something else if you wanted to, or you can wear it as a clutch. Girl, you going on vacation, you take one bag, take that strap out, and you got you a clutch bag for the evening. I'm just saying. Now, I'm not gonna tell you how to spend your money, but this seems like a great option to me. Save on the 19. Give this one a try. This is not a Chanel bashing session, but I had to consult the Googles because on the topic of price increases, one bag comes to mind, and that is the Chanel Classic Flap. Their iconic bag, we know this one was designed, I'm assuming, by Coco Chanel. If not, it has been around since the beginning of the house. Um, the bag has gone up substantially. Now, mind you, we've been in a whole pandemic, and Chanel said, oh, well, okay. Chanel said in 2020, this bag in the medium size is going to be 6,500 USD. That's already pretty pricey, especially when I hear that that bag can have some hardware issues. And they said, <clears throat> 365 days later, what we gonna do is raise that mug to $7,800. Inflation does not account for that, of course. That is a $1,300 price difference. And they are clamping down on how many are even available. You think I'm gonna be able to do that? I'm gonna pay $8,000 for that bag when Tanika from Tanika B just went over to Mallorca to Spain and got her a whole ass Birkin 25 for 7,000 euro. Why? Why would we ever? Tell me why? Why would we spend that kind of money at Chanel? I Y'all let me down below. Let me know down below. I feel like it is unconscionable, especially when they are amazing bags that will give you that same vibe for a fraction of the price. You know where I'm headed, okay? One of them that I love, my favorite bag at Saint Laurent is this one right here. You see this black on black? Ain't she sexy, okay? It is in the grained leather. They call it the Grand Poud leather at Saint Laurent, okay? It is going to give you classic flat vibes, probably because of the quilting. People are gonna say that they trying to be a classic flat. No, actually this design Saint Laurent got from the, um, the flooring in his studio, okay? So he was definitely inspired by that. Now, um, I love the fact that the leather, number one, is not going to show wear or tear. Number two, this bag comes in a host of colors. The black on black just happens to be my favorite because I think it's very edgy and sophisticated. You don't have to worry about what kind of, um, you know, jewelry you're going to wear with it. It's going to match everything. It's all four seasons. If you are looking for a black on black classic flap, girl, you are trying to find a needle in a haystack. If you find it on the resale market, it's going to be priced up. If you walk into a boutique today and say, I want a black on black, girl, they will laugh you out of there and turn the other way. That's what will happen. Okay. This is much more accessible in the U.S. 
and get into this. Now the classic flap from my understanding in the medium size sits kind of high when you want to wear it crossbody and I'm almost six feet tall so it, that mug would be like a belt bag on me, okay? Look at what the envelope satchel does by Saint Laurent. We have a shoulder bag option, but they say, uh-uh. Let me show you what else it does. Come on. Look at what else it does. It is so, so good. You got a pocket in the back for your cell phone, snack pouch, a juice pouch for your kids, okay? On the inside, you're going to be able to fit a full-size wallet, hand sanitizer, a mask, everything that you need. It is such a great everyday bag, and it is so highly durable. Plus, Saint Laurent really stands behind the hardware on their bag. Um, and so this bag for two years, all the bags, the hardware can be replaced free of charge. Um, and even after that, you may be charged a small fee, but it can get done for you. Won't take a year. They ain't gonna tell you no. You ain't gonna go to the back of the queue because you have a complaint about your bag. <laughs> okay. Between the customer service, the accessibility, and the price, it is the envelope satchel for me, okay? This is the direction that I would go in instead of a classic flap. Somebody gonna say, shy, you bugging. It is no way that someone should not get a classic flap. Let's talk about it. I, I just, I have to be honest, y'all. I feel otherwise. I think the price point, the accessibility, it just does not make sense to be fighting with Chanel when you have something like the envelope satchel or the envelope bag by Saint Laurent that is a beautiful, beautiful leather good on the market. I would spin here and I would save there. And that is it for today, y'all. I hope you absolutely loved the video. Let me know down below, are you playing the Chanel game? Are there other Saint Laurent bags that you love? Which ones are there? And also, do you want me to do any other brand spotlights? I would love to do that. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. Once again, follow me over on Instagram. And I will see you across the internet. Peace.